Ahoy there, YouTube! We're back again for more of our Gen Con Bonanza Explosion blog coverage. We're live at Gen Con 2018, thanks in part to our amazing Kickstarter backers. These amazing companies right here who donated games to us to help send us here. And of course, our awesome sponsors, Tasty Mystical Games and Minion Games. Show them some love in the clickables down below. Right now, I'm super excited because last night I got a chance to try one of my top 10 most anticipated games of Gen Con. Check out the list if you haven't seen it yet. Uh, we posted that. A lot of fun, drank a lot of beer. Uh, that is Restoration Games Dinosaur Tea Party. And I was very hyped about this game, primarily because of the company Restoration Games. They released three games last year, and I thought all three games were great or better. I have all three games still in my collection, so needless to say, this one was on my radar. It is three to five players, age of seven plus, take about 20 to 30 minutes to play, and this is a game, it feels like a multiplayer version of Guess Who, where essentially on your turn, you are either gonna do one of two things. You were either going to try, ask a question about someone's dinosaur character, because each player is going to be one dinosaur at a tea party, and you're gonna have a whole, I think it's a four by five grid, so you're gonna have 20 big dinosaur cards out in the middle of the table. You are going to have a secret card which will tell you the dinosaur that you are and then on your turn you're either going to ask a question about somebody else's dinosaur or guess the name of their dinosaur. First person to guess the name of someone else's dinosaur wins the game. Uh, how it works though is you're going to have a bunch of these little tokens in front of you that'll have like a picture of you, a mouth, which means is your dinosaur smiling, or of a picture of food, is your dinosaur eating something, or wearing glasses, or in a purple room, or a green room. And you're either going to put it face up in front of you when someone asks to say, yes, I am in a green room, or face down to say, no, I'm not in a green room, so it'll have the green room with an X cross through it. The other thing is, if you guess something correctly, like if you say, hey, Eric, are, is your dinosaur in the green room? And they say, yes, they are. You you get to ask another question or you get to make another guess. Um, there's also three quirk cards out there that which mix things up. The three quirk cards were you always have to lie, uh, you have to lie, tell the truth, or it's like uh, it's yes, no, yes, no, yes, no, yes, no, or you always have to say no. And if you got that particular dinosaur, you had to go by that. The, that restriction, which was interesting. It didn't actually impact the game we were in because none of the players that played got any of those dinosaurs, but still an interesting quirk to the game. So, my thoughts on the game. I was actually kind of disappointed, which is a little bit of a letdown for me because I was expecting great, and what I got was good. I do. I think this is going to be a good family game to a potentially a very good family game. I don't think it's great though and I did have some issues with it. So the first one uh, was you're going to have these 20 dinosaur big cards in the middle of the table and they have these big pictures of these dinosaurs but the icons are way too small on these cards and I didn't actually notice it until somebody else pointed out. I was like oh man the icons are these cards are too small. I was like yeah the fact that I really have to get over here and squint to look at them that's not really good so they should have focused more on making the icons bigger and the dot the artwork a little bit smaller it also got to the point where it's like if too many things were in front of you giving away information it just you were just kind of screwed for the most part um, I still like the game though I will say that and I still think this would go over very well as a family game I think it's a good to very good family game it's just not as great as I was expecting it to be uh, it plays relatively simple very easy to learn easy to teach I do also worry about those court cards with young kids because it says it's ages 7 plus and I think you have to try and deduce who other characters are. They're not working together. And I don't know if kids would really be able to pick up the nuances of the alternating or the always lying. Uh, but, but, but that's the kind of thing where the only way, really way to find it out would be to play it in my classroom, play it with kids. So in the end, I thought it was good, not great. It's my least favorite Restoration Games release. But granted, that's after only one gameplay, so it might change after that. Uh, but for now, yeah, it's good, not great after one gameplay, which was somewhat disappointing. So that is Restoration Games Dinosaur Tea Party multiplayer. Guess who? It's got some cool ideas, but it just did not do it for me as well as I was hoping was. If you're enjoying this Gen Con coverage, please be sure to click on that subscribe button down below and in the comments below. Let me know what appetizer do you bring to a dinosaur tea party? Because here's the thing, they're gigantic, so you can't get away. Yeah, maybe you can. You know what? Uh tea party. It's not like a barbecue. I don't know what the hell you bring to a tea party. Maybe potato salad? I think that's a barbecue thing though. You know what? Here's what I always do. I used to do this. My wife told me to stop doing it. But what I used to do is bring to parties, I would bring a gallon of milk and a box of cereal. Because I tell you what, 
People love cereal. It went, dude, it went over so well. Or like family get-togethers, I'd bring a gallon of milk when it says to bring something because people like milk. So yeah, maybe I'll just bring um, a, a gallon of milk and some cereal. So that's what I'd bring to the dinosaur tea party. But let me know in the comments below, what would you bring to the dinosaur tea party? And as always, thanks for your time, YouTube.